Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks and Hachiman and Superman 2. This is part of my number two of my new video series dedicated to the Super Pershing American Tier 8 Premium Medium Tank, which really isn't a medium. It's really a heavy tank in the way it should be played and uh, what it did historically. Here we've got Alex who has been in many of my videos, either in a platoon or as the star on his own. Uh, one of the best players I personally have ever had the uh, pleasure of playing with. And he is on Northwest, and he's heading south. He's in the northeast spawn of Northwest, and he's heading south as is typical for a heavy tank, because again, uh, in a super version, you have to play like a heavy tank. He advances pretty confidently, knowing that he's got more armor than almost everything in this game. Uh, cutting down to the low spot right over here. Friendly T-69 keeps bumping into him. Watch where you're going, buddy. Now it's very gingerly peeks over that hill. Super Pershing's got excellent, excellent, excellent gun depression, so it can do those types of things. You've got enemy heavy tanks. Coming up uh, one of the higher roads, two tier 7s, a Tiger and a T-29. I mean, Alex has uh, a t a, uh, an AMX M445, a T-32, and a Tiger up there. They should be able to handle that. Alex's team has lost a Hellcat. And he spots an R away out there. The T-3485 coming right at him. Easy shot into the 3485. There's not a spot on that tank which is going to bounce a shot from, from this 90 millimeter. He fires HG at Alex, which gets completely absorbed by Alex's armor, and Alex gets the easy kill. Arl is way out there. There's two Arls. And an ISU 152. But he's got a friend, an enemy Super Persian coming right at him. He aims right at the hydraulics on the top of the turret. Doesn't hit it flush, but hits it close enough to get the pending shot. Does it again. Alex has some backup. Super Pershing's trying to back off. Alex tries to put one into the drive wheel and misses. It gets eaten by the tracks. Meanwhile, the Super Pershing fires a premium round. Well, Alex didn't wait for the M circle to settle completely and puts one into the rocks there. Premium round bounces off his front. Um, you'll find a lot of people fire premium at a super Pershing because they just don't know where to shoot it. Look where Alex is aiming. At the tougher part of the turret, especially at those hydraulics, that's where you want to shoot a super Pershing. Give all you have is his front. Super Pershing blocks another premium round. Alex is coming around that corner at a really nasty angle. Um, that super Pershing's got very little chance of pending even with premium. Critical hit. Critical hit. Eh, probably took out the commander or something. Takes a premium round that time. Puts one into the... Hard to tell. Looks like it might have gone through the top of the engine, Jack. Alex, sorry, done. Uh, that shot goes high and misses completely. Alex, sorry, done. 1,800 damage. I mean, he's doing a great job, but he's just... he's. Perfect shot there, Super Persian. Enemy Super B pins him with a premium round, and there's the kill. Um, Alex did a great job. He just does. I know he doesn't like being stuck at that particular spot, dealing with that one tank, while the fighting continues elsewhere. I'm gonna speed up time because watching a Super Persian go up a hill, well, it's like watching paint dry, frankly. There's that ISU, and it aims a bit. Easy peasy shot there. Another one, and T32 kills the ISU. And Alex realizes very easily here that, um, yeah, we're going to keep it in two times here to speed this up a bit, that um, his guys in Alpha 1 2 have fallen, and the enemy is just sweeping in very quickly from that side. 
someone on his team is calling the cab, but that's probably not going to work. 99 times out of 100, you are better off defending and not trying to cap. We all know this, yet we all seem to try to cap. Plus, some of these missions that are out there require us to cap, and that's a difficult thing. Spots the ice, three bounces, one off the side. It's got a jumbo. One of the two tanks capping has been destroyed. And he's being, they're being capped by enemies now. Alex has his trusty Dicker Max companion with him. The guy who's been with him almost the whole game. There's the Jumbo, who is capping. Alex zooms in on the turret. Uh, just skates off the top, aiming for the hatch, rather. IS-3 is charging right at him. Oh, that shot should have gone through, but it didn't. Dicker Max bounces off the IS-3. Alex zooms in on the driver's door. Good clean shot. He's got a minute and a half. He doesn't have to worry about the cab happening anytime soon. He really... Well, alright. You can get the kill, get the kill. That's his third kill. He's done 2,911 damage. He's loading premium now. Because he needs to finish this IS-3 quickly. Unfortunately, his shot goes low and into the dirt. IS-3 is cutting to the side, which was a big mistake. Alex pens him. Another shot right through the beak. And then the Ice 3 rams him. Don't ram a super person. Alex gets the kill by putting a shot through the driver's door. You can't face hug a super Pershing when you're in an IS-3. You as an IS-3 have no gun depression. The super Pershing has all the gun depression in the world. He will just put a shot right through that driver's door every time. Alright, Alex is moving to the upper ridge, expecting to defend. He's got uh, an enemy IS-6 and a T-29 left. Both very dangerous tanks. Yep. He's got regular ammo loaded. And the IS-6 gets spotted coming in from the south. Sneaky little Russian devil. Alex backed up to switch to APCR. IS-6 knew he was spotted. He might have changed his approach. Here comes the IS-6. It's going for the Artie. Alex has been spotted. Side scraping IS-6 misses. FE-304 is going up behind. Alex had the same thought I did. He was spotted. Couldn't have been from the IS-6. Had to be the T-29. There's the IS-6 again. Again, Alex and I had the same thought. Where's that T-29? The really unfortunate fact here, guys, is that I only have 45 seconds left to record this. And there's three minutes on the clock, even moving at double time. I'm going to run out of time. Because this game does go the distance. The net effect is, it's a heartbreaker. It's a draw. Alex ends with a high caliber medal. Here comes the IS-6. Alex puts one shot into his rear. Uh, can't get the shot he wants. Oh, it goes slow. Alex is down to regular ammo. Alex pulls a high caliber and a steel wall out of this and an ace tanker mastery badge. Unfortunately, it was a draw. Because this IS-6 just isn't going to come out easily. And there's the T-29. 
Hey guys.